You know, when I just found out about my daughter's diagnosis, I started to Google this condition because I've never heard of it before. When I typed into Google search browser, it showed me that one of the most frequently asked uh, questions was about the life expectancy of people with Rett syndrome. Obviously, that was my main question as well. At the very beginning of, of this journey as a special needs parent, the fear of future is overpowering. It might become less intense when life for the disabled child settles down, but it doesn't go away completely. Will it stay forever or is there a way to live without a fear for your child's future? Hi, I'm Julia from A Gift of a Special Child. I'm a mom of two children. My younger daughter, Olivia, who is five now, was born with a rare genetic condition called Red Syndrome. My, my channel is for those who need help dealing uh, with their inner struggle of accepting their uh, child's disability. From my own story, I want to prove that your child's disability is not a curse or a burden. It's quite the opposite. It's the start of your inner power discovery and the path to your true self. If you are new to my channel, a very warm welcome and thank you so much for watching my video today. Please subscribe to get notifications of newly released videos. Naturally, parents want to know everything about the condition their special kid has. Research it on the internet, become members of different relevant groups on social media or offline. And it's a great to get to know people who are in the same boat, to share the experience, maybe to take advice, um, to avoid mistakes in the future, or to know what to expect. This knowing what to expect was a, as a, ma was a massive trap for me. My thinking was that um, I, need, um, I needed to prepare myself for the future with Olivia. What could happen? Um, what other symptoms she might develop? Do I need to know about the feeding tube? Because lots of people uh, with Olivia's um, syndrome ha have it. Do I have to research wheelchair options in advance to have time to choose the most suitable? Um, all those questions were um, unbearably heavy for me, but um, I thought I had to face them in advance to get ready to tackle the issues when they arise. I'm sure lots of serious uh, health conditions have support groups. Um, Red Syndrome has an amazing charity that regularly organizes different kinds of um, seminars, nowadays webinars, talking about all aspects of the condition and how they can help. I found those webinars very useful, but only to the point that is currently relevant to Olivia. I understood that um, I really don't want to know what to expect in the future. I, I choose to avoid the information about my daughter's adulthood um, prospects. My, my heart and my brain are not ready to accept this information. I decided that I prefer to face the problem when it already exists, to stop and stop torturing myself with all these possibilities of different complications. Well, yes, in, in some instances it's better to know uh, more uh, when you can prevent some things from happening in the future. I think that's a very healthy attitude, just, just to project the next step, like, uh, for example, a wheelchair. I actually would like to shoot a separate video about that, but today I just, uh, I just say that two years ago it was heartbreaking to hear about even trying a wheelchair or a special buggy for Olivia. But when I was mentally ready and um, I saw the necessity of that, um, then it was the right time to consider the solution um, that, that would make my daughter's um, and my, my life easier. My point is that instead of preparing yourself um, for the worst case scenario and researching um, a bunch of stuff that might never happen to your child, it's better to focus on, on your child's current needs. 
It's okay to avoid information that you are not ready to hear yet. Whatever happens in the future, you will deal with it in the future. What's the point of making your life a misery now, when I'm sure you have current concerns? Free your mental space from worries and fears about the future, because as one of my favorite author and uh, spiritual, spiritual teacher Wayne Dyer said, we know too little to be pessimistic. I agree, it's, it's a waste of time trying to predict the future, especially in a negative way. Parents will always have some level of worry for their child's future, whether a kid has a disability or not. But special needs parents shouldn't be obsessed with the idea that they need to know what to expect. It's worth trying to live one day at a time with your special child. I'm sure kids are born to teach, to teach us exactly that. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I would love to hear your opinion. Uh, please leave your comment and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Until next time. Bye.